So I found myself another wall to repoint. In fact, I've started already and uh, just did a bit of this this morning or this afternoon. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. So the wall is done. 
took me a while. If you're familiar with our channel, you'll know that this is a lime mortar, a non-hydraulic lime, sorry, a natural hydraulic lime 3.5 with a uh, quite coarse builder's sand. And it gives us a nice finish, although this wall will be hidden eventually. But it's a great improvement. And you can actually see that the stones are sort of drying out. You have this sort of white efflorescence or the salts being left on the stones as the water evaporates or is drawn into the, the lime, I suppose. But I've also discovered today we have a wet spot here which is from this side of the roof. So we had the rear half of the roof replaced because it was an old ancient slate roof, very heavy and very damaged. But this side of the house was a newer roof, relatively speaking, but it's still pretty old. And what we've got on here is the roofing tiles have these small spots of what is probably iron in them and it sort of rusts, it oxidizes and that makes the tile become weak and it cracks through. And they're a lot more fragile than we originally thought. And when the roofers were doing the work we asked them if they could patch up some small holes on this side but when he put pressure on the tiles if he walked on the tiles he was making more holes <laughs> also there's no membrane on this side which is not ideal because it should be like the other side where you have the rafters and then you have sort of breathable waterproof membrane and then the tiles So it's good to get this done, obviously. It's a bit of a milestone, really, because it's a huge difference in here. I really quite like it. It's dry for the most part, except for that leak. There's a certain amount of feeling that this is actually possible, that we will be able to do this project in total, you know, even though we have a huge amount of pointing to do for the whole house. And then, of course, there's the little unforeseen problems that arise as you do the other jobs. And on top of that, we have to do a lot of research and a lot of planning to work out what we're going to do, in what order we're going to do it, when we're going to do it, what materials we need and how we use those materials. And then on top of that, there's our budget as well. Marion works full time and works very hard. And I also have other responsibilities and commitments. I think we're going to take a little bit of a pause with the channel just for maybe a week or two and uh, consolidate what we're doing. So there's a lot of work in total that goes into the videos because I have to do the work and then I have to edit it. And that takes an awful lot of time and it, it it becomes quite stressful because I, I, I set myself deadlines to do that. So I'm going to give myself a bit of freedom on that and take a bit of the pressure off. And like today, I've got my, my shirt on and my, uh, my rather nicer clothes than my, you know, my onesie that I've been using to, to do this wall because I'm, we're going to go and do something, you know, just uh, the two of us and take a bit of time to consolidate where we are at because all we do is work at the moment so I'm looking forward to that so as usual thank you very much for watching it's really appreciated do give us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see what we're going to be up to in the future which is possibly a bit different from just wall repointing because there's only a certain amount of videos I think you can make on wall repointing. So we'll probably do some different things. I've got garage 
to make over and do the door, replace the old wooden doors on the garage and uh, well, pick your theme, you know, there's so much we've got to do. So I think I'll just enjoy myself hopefully with the next video and do something uh, pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.